seen every single day that this economy is not working for average Americans. Mm -hmm. We need to have someone that's a champion for them. Thank you, Senator. Senator Warren, I mentioned you. The round of questions is that battle for the heart and soul of our party. I want to make it clear. This is supposed to be the party of working people. Yes, we're supposed to be for Senator Yeah, I'm really excited that we're going to have like such a large group of candidates to be able to choose from. For me, I'm always uh, really uh, focused in on hearing about the issues and the plans that candidates have to really be able to move people forward, particularly uh, communities of color. So for me, just being able to have this breadth of, uh, of candidates is really interesting and really exciting. Who is resonating with you yeah. and what are the issues? That yeah, are I think with tonight you? the people that are really resonate for me are Elizabeth Warren, Julian Castro, and uh, Cory Booker, particularly because they're able to not only talk about issues that are affecting the entire country, but they can also do it from a view of justice and really trying to make sure we're looking at ideas of how we're bringing all Americans forward and not just like the ones who are participating in, in voting in elections. Have you made up your mind yet? I have not made up my mind yet. I'm really taking this time to look at everybody who's running. Um, we'll have more debates going on. It'll be even smaller and smaller. So I'm hoping by the time I get a chance to vote next spring, uh, I'll definitely have a choice. But right now, I'm undecided. I think Biden's the one that right now is grounded enough that he's not just telling the populace what they want to hear, that he can actually go and say, hey, Republicans, you and I agree that infrastructure is a big deal. Let's create a program that we take the people who are right out of uh, prison, people who are underemployed, et cetera, and so on, give them job training and get it so that they are the ones rebuilding our infrastructure. That's something that you would find support on the left and the right for. Unfortunately, I, a lot of people on that stage are promising the sky, the moon. I mean, I have $100,000 in uh, student loans. Would I like that to be gone? Yes. But is that my priority? No, because other things take priority. And um, why? I am not sure, um, but I will say that the candidate who is able to take out Donald Trump will be a candidate that shows that they can um, grow our economy, they can tackle our climate change issue, they can actually um, relate to the average everyday American, and that they're actually able to talk to people and relate to people.